Welcome back to the channel guys. This is a 19F150. It's recalled 21M01. Is that what it is? 21M01. It's either a 01 or a 06. Looks like a 1. It's a 1. It's unintended tailgate opening and Matt here has already started on the first half. Um, Matt, you want to show them what you were doing here? Yeah, up here we have a uh, module fuse block sort of deal plugs in right here well it doesn't plug into anything you got to zip tie it to the main harness right here then it's got three to four wires hanging off of it right here you got one is a circuit uh, ground that goes into the existing terminal right here on the stud you got to back this off plug it in and put this back on and then that part's done the next step you got this connector and this connector no this one and this one sorry and you have to wire in two pins but before you get to that half of it the whole bcm has to come out to start this recall you have to check all the pins and all the connectors on it to make sure there's no corrosion or any kind of water intrusion in them if that passes then you move to the second step which is to remove the bcm completely from the truck and then check all the fuses. You gotta pull one out one by one and check to see if any of them have any kind of corrosion on them. If any of them have corrosion, the BCM has to be replaced. If any of the, anything has corrosion, BCM has to be replaced. Uh, we got lucky and none of that, uh, none of the corrosion was found. Uh, we do have some sort of water intrusion, but not on the BCM. So we got lucky there. So back to these two connectors. We got one connector here and one connector here. One of the connectors here, we got lucky and we didn't have to deep pin anything or tie into any of them. So, pin 16, which is this one right here, was free. So, we didn't have to tie into it. All we had to do was plug the new terminal into it, put the connector uh, lock back onto it, and that's done. Second one here, we didn't get so lucky. So, we had a terminal that was already being used and that's uh, this one right here pin 12 so pin 12 what we had to do is we had to take the deep pressure uh, decompress this and this to pull these two blocks out yes the two they are uh, two individual blocks in the same connector that's weird which is pretty interesting and then just for shits and grins I'll start pulling this out just I'll wait I already got it tied in so anyways these two right here pop out you got one here all you got to do is pop that to the side and pop that to the side outwards both of them have to go outwards and then both both blocks slide right out once you get that it's a blue solid blue wire on pin 12 what you do is you cut it about three inches up from the terminal so to put it right about here more or less right there so once you splice it and you cut it, you guys, um, you have to strip both ends, the side that's on the harness and the connector side. So once you do that, then you tie in the green wire, which is this one right here, which already has a pin connector on it. You gotta snip the pin connector off and then tie that into the connector side. Then the black wire, which is this little one right here, that goes to the, con the harness side, so it goes up to the other side of the connector. It's like you're piggybacking off of it. Pretty much. You're, you're piggybacking off of it, and it cycles through up to the fuse block up here. So once you get that done, you just put some new Tessa tape around it, put it all back together, and that side's done. So now we move to the next step, which is going to the tailgate and disconnecting the um, the connector on the tailgate actuator. The white, the white connector, I think is what it said. The instructions, the white connector. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, pin two. Yep. So it's uh, wire number two, which is the black wire. And we tie into that one with either a new wire or a new solder, a new, uh, what the heck is it? A new, a new harness of some sort. I haven't gotten that far, so we're gonna go do that now. Yep. What size is that? Uh, it's a G25. So we've got to pull this piece off so we can get to the conductor down here.
At least it's not the plastic liner where the whole thing has to come off. No, this is just a bed liner where it's stuck. <laughs> it's a piece of metal sprayed on. So now, we have to take this joker out of here. So we'll just come over here, pop that up, get that out of the way. Pop that up. You got two 10 mils right here. That's the actuator in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the actuator that commands it to unlock and lock and open and all that cool stuff. Once you get this up, some electronics on cars nowadays. Mm -hmm. This is the connector we need to disconnect. Let's come in here. Pop that off just like that. Boom, there's the connector we need. It's going to be. Well, there's only two wires. <laughs> this one right here, the brown and yellow, the black and yellow trouble seeing here but basically we're going to pull all this back to about right here and then once we get that out we're going to cut the wire I know this probably ain't the right tool to be using but I got a little flat hook yeah, well, now this works for me. He's just popping the white plastic lock out that holds the pins in place. If we can get it trying to. Mm -hmm. Usually just snap in. Usually. There, there we go. Whoop. Right in the face. Those are uh, oh crap clips. Yeah. Now he's going to deepen it. light and sunlight you can't see nothing You gotta get these things just right. All right, so a little stubborn, but it came out, depinned it just like this. And according to the workshop manual, we gotta cut this and fold it back down after we heat shrink the cut portion of it. So what we're gonna do is Finish pulling the rest of this off. Careful not to cut the wires. You know those little uh, seam splitters that females use for sewing? Yeah, they those work amazing. Really good. Yeah, every one that I've had, I've always lost. Either I left it in a vehicle or it got kicked around the shop or what have you, but I can never hold on to them. But yes, they do work amazingly. So explain why we're folding this back. Well, according to the workshop, what we have to do is cut this back and 
tape it out of the way because we're not using this one no more because we're going to be wiring in a new drop uh what's it called drop connector drop cord not drop cord um drop cord wiring drop cord <laughs> we're basically taking this one out of the equation pretty much we're we're getting rid of this whole thing entirely and i going to be routed this way back to the front I'm assuming back to the switch we just wired in up front so but like I said it's only my first one doing this but you're learning with me once we do plenty of these then it'll be a lot more easier to explain <laughs> we just go by the workshop manual for now once I get two or three of them in I'm pretty memorized by them at that point so he's going to cut this, fold it back, heat shrink it. Alright, so Matt already snipped the wire. There's the pin laying there and he's got the heat shrink on it now. Okay. Now we melt it. Ah. Not, not literally melt it, we just shrink it. Basically just weatherproofing it. Pretty much. There's uh, glue inside these things and once you heat it up, it melts in there and makes a good seal. So now that that's done, we're going to fold it back just like this, and then we're going to tape it around. Before we get that taped up, the new harness, we have to pin this joker in here. just like so pop it in just like that and we get our new tab pins only go in one way yeah generally it. like that one where I was doing that trailer brake module yeah that, that was that wasn't even the pin that was the connector that was messed up right out of the box pretty much it wouldn't hold the pin that was crazy I still have yet to see something like that happen ever again all right so essentially we tie this up just like this Get our test tape and this goes somewhere yeah it'll route through the tailgate and go into the existing tailgate recall that was done previous to this yeah it'll go underneath and then it's going to tap into some other connectors this long one is going to go to the front where you saw us at the front of the truck and that's basically how the recalls are going to go for the most part yeah this recall takes, what was it, like five four, hours? Four, four, and half, four and a half, five hours, depending. So, um, according to the workshop manual, anyways. Like I said, this is only the first one I've done, so I can tell you right now, if we're about halfway done with it right now, I've only got about an hour and a half into it, so. It's, not, it's just a matter of. It's just a, all it is is really, it's just real tedious work and being curled up in areas that are uncomfortable uncomfortable but you know mechanics we like it in every direction <laughs> no pun intended but that's basically the recall for the unintended tailgate opening if you guys got any questions drop them down in the comments and we'll get back to you